Hi everyone, welcome back to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm showing you how to make three dots and a dash. This was originally created back in World War II by Don Beach, the tiki god himself. And this exact recipe is a adaption um, based on that featured in the Smuggler's Cove cocktail book. Very, very good tiki cocktail book. For those who don't have it, I'll leave a description. I'll leave a description? I'll leave a link in the description for you guys to check it out. Very good book. If you're a rum lover, if you love tropical drinks, if you love tiki, then this is an absolute must. I know I did say that I was going to be doing um, very simple drinks for people at home. Uh, I will continue to do so, do so but I'm just going to um, keep some more complicated and more interesting cocktails in there. Uh, now that I do have a, an array of ingredients on the bar as well, I had 12 bottles arrive recently, so I need to put them to good use. But alternatively, I'll swap each day to a, a very simple cocktail that's easy to make. And I also have a, a video coming up where I'm going to use the seven most common ingredients in people's fridge at home. If you haven't responded to that, um, that questionnaire, check out the community tab on my channel and I'll make cocktails with your weird and wonderful ingredients from your fridge. Okay, onto the drink itself. Three dots and a dash actually means victory in Morse code. Um, and it calls for a rum agricole. So 45 mil. 1.5 ounces. So for those who don't know, rum agricole is made from the fresh sugarcane juice, uh, as opposed to molasses, which uh, rums are made from. Then I've got, so this recipe does call for a Martin, Martinique uh, rum agricole and a blended aged rum. This is a little bit of a, a lighter style aged rum. Um, I'll leave some other alternatives in the description, but 15, 15 mil, Half an ounce. And then velvet falernum. So falernum liqueur, seven and a half mil, one quarter ounce. It's got to add some citrus notes, uh, a lot of spice to the drink as well. And then we've got allspice dram, I'm oh, sorry, pimento dram, uh, which is actually made from allspice, ber allspice berries and Allspice berries come from the pimento tree, hence why it's called either allspice dram or pimento dram. So 7.5 mil, quarter ounce. Kind of reminds me of like almost a Jägermeister nose. It's like herbal, uh, spicy, and it's got like this kind of alpine, alpine note to it, similar to Jägermeister somewhat. Uh, next up, we've got fresh lime juice, 15 mil. Half an ounce. Same again, 15 mil, half an ounce of honey syrup. This is one to one, one part honey to one part water. Just makes it nice and easy to mix through. And one dash of Angostura bitters. And last ingredient, 15 mil. Very crudely squeezing this, I know. Making a mess. 15 mil, half an ounce. And the original recipe does call for crushed ice and flash blending, meaning just blending it for a very split second. Um, I'm just gonna shake it with crushed ice. I've had this cocktail before, and I think if um, it just adds too much dilution when you flash blend it, so I prefer it this way. But if you want to stick to the original recipe, you can check it out in the description below. And as far as glassware goes, this has a huge capacity, this glass. I think it's like 450 mil, um, like 15 ounce, I think that works out to be. The original recipe does call for a Pilsner glass, which is like a footed glass um, that angles outwards. Uh, completely up to you. I don't have one of those. I'm pretty much in lockdown, so I'm not going to get one. And I'm keen to make this cocktail. Then... Top it up with more ice. Maybe not that much. And for garnish, to represent the three dots and a dash, a dash of pineapple, three dots of a maraschino cherry, 
and if you like, some pineapple spears as well. It's on crushed ice, so you really need to serve this one with a straw, otherwise it's going to be a nightmare to drink. And you're going to be hitting pineapple spears in your eyes. You don't want that. Recently mentioned the Surfside Sips on another video. Uh, lots of people jumped over and bought, bought straws from, um, from Andrew, and he sent me some more straws. Uh, some perfect for tiki drinks. These little like bamboo style. Cat, which color would you like? I've got blue, brown, clear. I've got a bone, white bone, or green bamboo. Blue. As I mentioned last time, these are made of made of boros borosilicate. These are made of borosilicate glass, which means that they're tough as hell. They're not going to break. So they have a three dots and a dash. And of course, I do have a twenty percent off voucher, uh, a coupon code. And I'll link to that in the description below uh, so you can grab your own Surfside Sips. Cheers. It's very strong, it's potent. Um, it's good, it's served on crushed ice because it's going to dilute. Give it a couple of minutes and that's going to evolve over time. On the nose, I get a lot of those pineapple notes, a lot of fresh pineapple, acidity. Um, the dominant flavor in the in the cocktail itself being the rum agricole which kind of gives it a, a bit of a grassy herbaceous note in comparison to a, a rum that's made of molasses and it's complemented with the the falernum and the allspice probably the allspice is more prominent kind of like a bit of a like i said before an alpine note to it so Typical tiki uh, cocktail, citrusy. I like the, the sweetness of that honey syrup coming through, but it's very potent, but it's tasty. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon for another cocktail video. Cheers.